For the first time in two decades, Southeast Asia's largest economy shrank, hit by coronavirus restrictions. But this online mall is defying gravity. Since the semi-lockdown situation in Indonesia, we experienced a surge both on the supply and the demand. It's like in the past one decade, we are actually preparing for this pandemic. In one of the most sought-after markets globally, where local and global heavyweights slug it out for dominance, Tokopedia ranks amongst the top players in e-commerce. It reminds me when Jack Ma once said that e-commerce in the US is like a dessert, but e-commerce in China or in the mainland is like a main course. Indonesia, we are the largest archipelago country in the world with 17,000 islands. So it's uh, very difficult to build equal infrastructure across the country. People that live in a small city, they will have a limited access to the goods and services. So the past one decade, we are focusing on solving that issue, on uh, fixing the inequality of access to the goods and inequality opportunity to start and grow the businesses. Founded by William Tanu Vijaya in August 2009, the startup quickly gained popularity, becoming a unicorn with value above $1 billion by 2017. Backed by SoftBank Vision Fund, Alibaba Group, and Sequoia Capital, it attracts traffic of over 90 million active users a month and growing. During this pandemic time, a lot of business start to realizing if like, they don't adapt to online then it's a very difficult to reaching out to the customer. So from both supply side and the demand side, we see the acceleration of digital adoption big, big time. It took us 10 years to accumulate 6 million of merchants onboarding on our platform. But in the past 11 months, we are adding 2.6 million more. So now we have 8.6 million Indonesian businesses that are start and growing their business on our platform. That's only from the supply side, right? So on the demand side, we also see a tremendous growth from numbers of people that come shopping online for the first time. From the buyer side and so on, we see in a 10% takes of month-on-month -month growth. But even at the online store, certain categories have been hit hard by COVID. Yes, we are seeing certain categories that definitely impacted big time like discretionary spending, even like fashion category because of the changing of the behavior because of the pandemic situation. But that doesn't mean that it cannot be opportunities, right? So we are actually working very closely with our merchants network. Mm -hmm. For example, the one that's selling a fashion or selling clothing to repurposing their businesses. Either they are selling more slipwares or they are pivoting their businesses to uh, produce a cloth mask because now every day people need a, a cloth mask. To boost sales, Tokopedia called in the big guns for reinforcement, the hugely popular K-pop boy band BTS. Yeah, so as a company that only focusing for the Indonesia market, but one day we are planning to list the company. So we want to make sure that the global audience also know Tokopedia and also know Indonesia more. And it's become a very successful launch for us for the past couple of months, especially during this pandemic. They are really helping us to speak to uh, every Indonesian on a raising awareness. And recently, we actually do also a kind of TV shows together and actually mm -hmm. worldwide trending on the Twitter for more than three hours. So that's actually very helpful for uh, Tokopedia and for uh, all the Indonesia small businesses. Are you yourself a BTS fan? Definitely, after meeting with them, I'm a, con I'm a comfort to become army. <laughs>